Hello to those, how are you doing? Uh, Senior Venegas here. I just wanted to give a quick glossary of uh, important terms for grade four science of waste in our world. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go through all the important terms uh, for this chapter. Um, and also I'll put the text on there as well. You'll have a study guide and all you have to do is copy off of this video the important terms. So when we go through the unit, um, you'll be able to understand what's going on. So. Uh, for grade 4 science, it is uh, waste in our world, so one, one of the terms is abiotic. So, abiotic is non-living parts of the environment such as sunlight, water, and rocks. Another one would be biodegradable. Biodegradable, so that is something that will, will decompose, break down quickly within a few years, and return to the earth. Uh, biodegradable objects are anything living, uh, plants or animals, or stuff that is made from living things. So the next one is biotic. Biotic. Biotic is something that was living or once living. Um, it's parts of the environment such as plants or animals. So there you go. Uh, next is composting. Composting uh, that turns plants and other biodegradable biodegradables into fertilizer by mixing them with dirt and letting them decompose. Leads us to the next one, which is decompose. Decompose is to break down or decay or to disintegrate. Whoa. Um, if you decompose, you also need decomposers. That's the next one. Decomposers. Decomposers are organisms that cause the breakdown of plants and animal waste. Some examples of decomposers are mold, fungi, fungus, earthworms, isopods, and bacteria. So, next one is disposal. Disposal is getting rid of waste, i.e. putting it in the dump, incinerator, like to burn it, recycle it, to compost it, etc. Next is fossil fuels. Uh, fossil fuels is a fuel that is formed from the earth, from the remains of plants and animals that lived as long as 400 million years ago. So an example of this would be like coal or oil. Natural resources. Natural resources are anything that occurs in nature without the assistance of man to make it. So for example, an oil, trees, rocks, diamonds, my hair. Well, that's not a natural resource. Uh, natural waste is a waste products or waste produced by things in the environment such as dead plants and animals. Non-biodegradable. Non-biodegradable is something that will not break down easily and will take a very long time to break down. It is made from non-living things or things that will never be alive such as metal, glass, plastic. Non-renewable resources and is a, a natural resource that cannot be replaced once it's used such as rocks, coal, oil. Once they're gone, Poof, they're gone. Natural cycle, that's the process in nature where waste is broken down and turned into solids which allows plants to grow again from dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Uh, this is process repeated over and over and over again. Renewable resources, a renewable resource are natural resources which can be replaced or used once if managed appropriately. So this an example would be like water, trees, plants, uh, solar power. Sterile, so that means clean, doesn't have any living things, so it's, i.e. bacteria or bugs in it. Super clean. I think we all know about being super clean right now. Uh, toxic, it's uh, poisonous. Toxic waste poisons the environment, usually from non-biodegradable things. Vermicomposting, vermicomposting. So this is when waste is composed using red wiggler worms in a container. This can be done inside. Bacteria and worms work together to break down food waste that come from plants. Some food wastes that come from plants uh, can also be like onions, oranges. Uh, those aren't very good for worms apparently. There you go. Waste. Things we no longer need or want. Waste can be produced in, natural, in the natural world and in by humans. So there you go. That is all the stuff you need to know for waste in our worlds.